Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Hope you had an awesome Christmas. I know I did. I basically just ate a load of food and just took a bit of a break. And it is nice to get a break from your usual routine. But today I'm back again with another video and I thought it'd be a good idea this time to show you how to paint your 3D prints. And I've been meaning to do this one for a while and seeing as it's Christmas, I thought, why not download a Santa STL model and paint that one. So I'll leave a link to the model below if you're interested, but I'm gonna show you how I printed it, how I painted it, and just give you some tips that I like to use when I'm painting my prints. And I'm no expert at all at painting, so if you've got any tips for me, please leave them below, I'd really appreciate that. Um, but yeah, let's get straight into the video. Okay, so at this point we want to be prepping our print ready to paint and polyfiller is one of the things you can use to fill in any gaps or holes that may be in your print. And also we can use some sandpaper as well if you're printing something flat to really smooth down the surface and ultimately the smoother the surface the better the paint's going to look. As you can see on a previous project I had to really smooth out that top layer because when you apply paint to it you can see the lines quite clearly. So it's best to smooth it out as much as you can and again you can use polyfiller to fill in any of those gaps. This however is a little more tricky when working with something like the Santa model because it's quite a complex shape and it has a lot of round edges. This isn't really an issue because 3D printers today tend to print curves really well especially if you use a low layer height. One other thing I recommend you do is use a primer or a filler primer and this is basically a first layer of paint before you get colourful. So this creates a better key for your acrylic paint to stick to when it comes to adding colour. Um, typically 3D printing plastic doesn't take paint that well but what this does is it allows you to fill in those gaps between the layer heights but also having a better key for your paint to stick to. And you can apply as many coats of this as you want. I only did one but the more you apply it does tend to smooth it off. Just remember don't spray too close or the paint will start to run. You want to aim to distribute the paint evenly from multiple different angles. When spray painting it's important not to touch wherever you're trying to paint. So one little hack I like to use is a bit of electrical tape and a block of wood and what you can do is just use the electrical tape and stick it on the underside of wherever you're painting. That way you can hold on to the block of wood while you're spray painting the actual model. If you're after a super smooth finish, you can even sand the primer with a very fine sandpaper. I also did this on the previous project and it basically just gives you the smoothest finish possible ready for painting. And it's especially useful if you plan to go on and use some kind of clear gloss to give your model that nice finish. So after applying one layer of primer, we're now ready to go on and add some color to our model. And to do this, I'm gonna be using some basic acrylic paints. I had these ones in particular from Amazon Worth mentioning that the quality of the paints you use will ultimately affect the final outcome, so you might want to invest in a good set of paints. These ones were quite cheap and I still managed to get some reasonably good results. Okay, so this is where you actually start painting and this requires a lot of patience. I like to listen to an audiobook or a podcast and it really kind of gets you into it. I would just recommend that you take your time and do it in multiple sittings. You know, if you try and rush it or you get a bit stressed out, it's probably gonna end up being ruined and you'll have to go back to square one. So just take your time. I'm gonna roll some music again so you can watch it. Uh, we'll see what it looks like at the end.
So here's the result directly after applying the acrylic paint and it actually looks pretty good. There's a couple of brush strokes that you can see but there's a great way to eliminate that and this goes on to the next step. So the next thing I'd recommend you do is apply a sealer. So this stops the paint from coming off when you touch it and also provides a really nice matte finish. And this is what it looks like after I've applied that matte finish. And you can see it really flattens it out and it does get rid of a lot of those brush strokes that you can see from earlier on. So that's it for this one. I hope you found it useful. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up. And for more content like this, hit that subscribe button. Hope you have an awesome new year and I'll see you in 2020.